We have just gotten our first official trailer for Wallace and Gromit Vengeance Most Foul and it looks so good. We've known for a while now that this is going to be Feathers McGraw's revenge plan. The evil penguin who used the wrong trousers to steal a diamond has returned from the zoo prison to frame Wallace for causing chaos with his new invention, this time being AI gnomes. But is that all that is happening here? Did this trailer actually confirm that Feathers McGraw might not be the only returning villain in this movie? Let's get into it, but before we go any further, please make sure that you've clicked that red subscribe button down below and have your notifications turned on. Now this occurred to me after I saw the suspicious end to the trailer. A beautiful haunting shot of Feathers McGraw at the organ. He slowly turns around in his evil villainous chair and holds up a mug that says world's best boss. And then the camera pans out and is about to show us something whatever or whoever Feathers McGraw is looking at but instead cuts to the title. And it's this mug that makes me suspicious. It doesn't say world's best villain or world's best robber, it's world's best boss. Which makes me think Feather's revenge scheme involves not just him but many others who he is going to be taking control of and whatever he is looking at here must be an army that he's using to get revenge. Now my first thought was he is taking control of these new AI gnomes and is hacking into the AI technology to create a gnome army in order to frame Wallace. However that might just be part of it. Throughout this trailer there is a sneaky lot of Easter Easter eggs, little references to past Wallace and Gromit films that definitely do seem intentionally there and may be a clue as to who Feathers McGraw is working with. Throughout the trailer there are countless references to Wallace and Gromit a close shave, from when the fact that we see Gromit is wearing his iconic flying helmet from that film when he breaks into the house and we haven't seen him use that since that film, and we see him using his part motorbike part plane vehicle with an added on invention which again has only been seen before in a close shave. We get an image of the crime scene which happens to be at the dinner table where Wallace and Gromit famously had their porridge incident in a close shave and to the corner we can see the switch has been chewed like the porridge machine was, suggesting it was chewed by sheep. And with all of that we have both Gromit wearing a wool dressing gown and Wallace's new jumper being made completely out of wool. And this is very intentional as we see Wallace in his normal jumper on the picture for his gnome improvements business. So this is a new costume for when he has been framed. If that isn't the biggest clue ever that the sheep with Sean might be returning, I don't know what is. So maybe Feathers has taken over the sheep army as well and Gromit is having to fight them or maybe he's managed to rebuild Preston the cyber dog who was the main villain of that film and he's working along with him. But there's more references to other films. We see lots of references to Wallace and Gromit the curse of the were rabbit as we see Gromit dealing with throwing vegetables on the boat which were a big plot point in that film and we see the same villagers from that exact movie who end up getting annoyed at Wallace and framing him as well. So could that mean we could potentially get a return of a sort of were rabbit Rabbit moment? Could we get the return of Victor for example? Who knows? And I'm sure there's more references that the trailer hasn't shown us yet to the final other two Wallace and Gromit films being A Grand Day Out and A Matter of Loaf and Death and maybe elements from those films will also return and be a part of Feather's plan. Either way, Feather's McGraw seems to not just be working on his own but is leading an army. And that army might be working with Wallace and Gromit's past villains, it could be leading an animal army from the zoo or could even be a chicken army since we know he worked with the chickens as we see him in Chicken Run 2. But either way I am so excited to see what Feathers McGraw's revenge plan is and how he is going to frame both Wallace and Gromit and I can't wait to see how Gromit is going to return to save the day. What do you guys think about this? Who do you think Feathers McGraw is working with to do this revenge plan? Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments and as always we've been here on Gate of Theories. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.